DJ Khaled The 2K Sports Pregame Show Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors as they play against the Sacramento Kings at Sleep Train Arena. Well, for Sacramento, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. Well, we got last season's finals MVP in the house, Andre Iguodala. And if you want to talk about a guy who plays beyond his stats, Shaq, it would be Andre. Uh, I mean, he's, he's had a tremendous uh, run over the past year. You, you know, in this game, we love to see guys that can shoot it and guys that can run and slam dunk. But this guy can take over a game without even scoring a point. He's got great understanding of the game, and he's a natural playmaker. Well, I love his defense, Ernie, but, you know, he's an inc incredible defender, as it. But his ability to hit the three-point shot was, a, was huge down the stretch uh, for, for Golden State and winning the championship. Now, some might say, you know, he did an admirable job on LeBron. LeBron was incredible, so it's hard to say he did a great job. But he was able to slow him down in key moments. And, and the thing you, you remember about...
the Kings to start out. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson at the guard spots. Barnes and Green are the forward set. And it's Bogut in at the center position. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. And you know, guys, Marco Bellinelli really hit his stride two seasons ago. He was way up across the board as a shooter and assist man. Even his rebounding had improved over his career averages. But then last year, he took a bit of a step back. Now here's Rondo. And Drew Bogut unable to get his shot to go. Nice shot by Rondo. Yeah, poor job defensively, giving him such a clear look at the basket from three-point range. Kicks to Bogut. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Up and over the defender with one hand. Facebook. Looked like the D had a good chance to cut him off until he made his move to the rack. Yeah, that's just a really nice job of taking it right to the rim. On deep, Gay, and that one's good. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Guys, Steve Kerr gave me a few moments to catch up with him. He said a big part of their focus defensively will be on trying to contain Rudy Gay, adding he presents some challenges because he can shoot over the top, and also he's a tremendous finisher inside. We've got to force him to that left hand, but I'm hoping we won't have to double too much because they have plenty of other guys who can knock it down. Kevin, the challenges are full. And thank you, Doris. The Warriors have gone two or three here to start off the game. Curry kicks to Green to the middle. He's looking for Bogut and finds him. And the rejection by Cousins. Here is Rondo to the right side. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Shots good by Matt Lamont. Five buckets without a miss. That's a fantastic start. On defense, the Kings. Eight-point game. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Buries it from three-point range. Curry's got himself on the board with three there. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. And I think it's fair to say last season was a bit of a transition year for the Kings. I mean, after firing Malone and the injuries to their stars, they just tried to build for the future, realizing that was going to be in their best interest. Here's Curry following the basket by DeMarcus Cousins. Nobody near Barnes. His three-pointer is off the mark. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Here's Bellinelli, and Thompson sends it back. Pushing it up. Here's Green. And the rejection by Cousins. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Over to the wing. That's a two from Bellinelli. Good, and it's Cousins picking up the assist. Bellinelli's got his first points in this one. And the Kings last year were able to get George Carl to lead the team a good hire for them. This team did decent under him back uh, in the last half of the season. Yeah, they still got a lot of work to do, but he can certainly make it happen for him. One of the outstanding coaches in our league. The Kings actually were in it for a while last year, but then had a mini rebuild midseason. Here's Cousins following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Cousins, the pass to Rondo. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now here's Green, shot on the wing. Curry shot is off. McLemore dishes to Rondo. Pulls it up. Again, Sacramento. I'll tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. One thing to say about Rajon Rondo's career, he's come up big in the biggest of games, had six steals in the closeout game uh, that gave Boston its 17th championship. Remember that back in 2008 for Coach Doc Rivers? I really do. And after yeah. that Boston win in the series against the Lakers, Phil Jackson called Rondo the star 
of Game 6. Everyone had always talked about the Big 3 in Boston. That year, it was the Big 4. Here's Collison following the basket by Stephen Kirk. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively, you have to take something away. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Sacramento. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. The drive by Green. Here's Thompson, goes back up. He lays it in. Thompson's got his first bucket of the night. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass, and that's one of the things he brings to the table. And there's DeMarcus Cousins on the assist by Collison. Ten points here for Cousins. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. Curry against Collison. Curry kicks to Bogut. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, we won't be a lead for long. And really, these teams don't even look like they belong on the same court today. I don't think they do, based on what we've seen, a double-digit lead, and we're still in the first. Ouch. That's painful. And that one's good. And it's nine points for Steph Curry. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Dishes it to McLemore. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. There's the pick. Game. Banked in off the goal. Gage's got five now. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Green, the screen. It's Curry with the drive. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Collison against Curry. Now here's McLemore outside. And another three for Sacramento. And it's taken them no time to build this lead up. Great first quarter offensively. But no time to relax here. They've got to keep the pressure on with the defense, and I think they've got to try to put this one away early. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. The Kings on top. They lead by 13. Live from Sacramento, you're watching 2K Sports. Second quarter starts here. Plenty of time for a comeback. And quite a position here for the Kings to be in. What do you guys think? Anytime you can get to the rim consistently early in the game, it allows you to get to a good rhythm offensively. It really does. I mean, it's a lot easier to get buckets inside. That's elementary, and they've done that through one. But I tell you, the Warriors roster fit together hand in glove. They were led by the Splash Brothers. But the front court and the bench really complemented the rest of the team perfectly because all of the players for the Warriors were extremely versatile and highly skilled. Caspi is out there with Costa Cooks. And it's Karan Bump. And there's Anderson. And it's Collison in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Kings leading now by 10. Lost to Anderson. And stolen by Spates. Outside Curry. Pass to Green. Kicks it out to Iguodala. Three-pointer. The shot. No good. So the Kings will take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. As you're talking about the Warriors, you know, they were built to play with each other last year. The bigs could all pass very well, and that set up the three-point threats. And, and, and then even on the defensive side, I mean, they had players that really complemented each other. I mean, some undersized power forwards, 
who, who countered with rim protectors. I mean, they also had the length at every perimeter position to switch on any play. So they are equally as adept on that side of the ball. And so here is Golden State. Sacramento making their last shot. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. And Caspi has it in the corner. Butler in the corner. Releases from 15. That's good on the jump shot. Butler's got his first two points of the night. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Well, the, the term dream season can be applied to Steve Kerr's first year. Comes in and sets a franchise record in wins and also wins a title for the Warriors in his first year. Still unreal. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. Steve Kerr was just going over the plan with his team. He made sure that everyone was on the same page and that the offense needed to run through Stephen Curry. Their offense is most effective, Coach said, when he is most involved. And they're looking for total involvement from him for the rest of this game. Guys, they've got a decent hold to dig themselves out of, but still a lot of time left to do it. We'll see if those adjustments help. And as always, Doris, thank you. And for Kerr, so much was made of how much pressure he had to face to get the Warriors to improve. Parroting that team for Mark Jackson, Greg, that was a good point. He, he passed that test, though, Clark, I think, was flying coach. Well, first time that a rookie head coach has won a title since the NBA's inception. I think that says it all right there. Sacramento leading by 12. Iguodala with the steal. Now the Warriors moving it up. Thompson with the ball. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist from Spates. And that's now 18 points for Steph Curry. Sacramento's gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Collison kicks to Anderson. Let's it go with a three. And another three for Sacramento. Excellent feed from D.C. Darren Collison. Warriors trail by 13. Curry passes to Thompson. Spades dishes to Curry. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. And that's going to increase the field goal percentage even more. They are a huge edge in that category. And that's because they've been playing smart basketball. I mean, they've been very patient offensively, and their shot selection has been superb. And Green gets it to go. They're having much more success here in the second after missing on a few chances that they had earlier. They, they've locked in and zoned in here now. And Mari Spates last season was the best year of his career. I mean, he shot the cover off the ball and did a nice job on the boards as well. Here's Curry. The Kings getting the button. And there's the foul. And Darren Collison picks it up. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Kings. Coley Stein comes in for Kufus. And Curry subbed in for Anderson. The Warriors also with a sub. Livingston's checked in. Here is Livingston. He kicks it to Iguodala. No good. Boy, well, blew the easy two by profile. Trying to look good. That's a bad decision and poor execution. Here's Collison. Green with the block. Here's Spates. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Spates has got four points in the quarter. You love for any trip down the floor to end with a shot like that. Curry attacking. Buries it down low. And the Kings lead by 15. 144 left to play here in the half. Here is Livingston, guarded by Kerr. Livingston, no luck. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. And Caspi kicks to Collison. Fires the three. That drops. Collison's got five now. That's the 
the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Livingston passes to Green from deep. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. And it's eight points for Draymond Green. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. It's really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Good! Oh, the D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from beyond. Now here's Curry. He's got 18. 46 seconds left now here in the second. Fires high post. No luck. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. Greg, that's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now, here's Curry. A three ball. The offensive rebound. Spates kicks to Green. He feeds it to Spates. Igudala wide open. Sinks the triple. Here's Curry. Two on the clock. And again, it's Sacramento converting. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. It's Sacramento just dominating this one. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, Karan, just a quick question before you head off to the locker room. What's the key strategy in a game like tonight's facing this type of team? I mean, you know, you just got to protect the paint. You know, they got you know, great guys that's you know, on the perimeter knocking down shots. So, you know, run them off the shots and, you know, make them into uh, facilitators and playmakers. You guys certainly accomplished that, Karan. Thank you so much. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. We've been uh, watching a pretty lopsided game through the first half, that's for sure. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined again by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was DeMarcus Cousins who got hot in the first. He had 10 points, two block shots, and two assists. What'd you think about Sacramento, Kenny? The thing I've noticed more than anything is how well they spread the floor at the offensive end. Their spacing has been fantastic, and the end result has been a lot of good looks from three-point land. And now, they've established themselves from long range, and the defense has to adapt. They're in really solid position right now. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, they got more than a few problems to work out, but it all starts with their defense. I know the analytical people love to point out opponent's field goal percentage, and tonight has been a big problem. They haven't defended with any purpose. They need a whole lot more activity on defense. And that'll do it for now as the second half of our game is about to get underway. Kevin Harlan has the call. Now it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. It's been a solid outing for Curry. He has 18 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson. They're in the backcourt. The defensive stalwarts, Green and Bogut, are down low. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. And you think about Stephen Curry, clearly one of the greatest shooters the league has ever seen. Clark, I think you could make a case that he's the best off-the-dribble three-point shooter in league history. Uh, what do you think? I, I, th I think he's the best total shot maker shooter we've had in the league. When you look at all aspects of shooting, I don't know if anybody's ever been better. Now here's Rondo. Out left to the wing. 
from deep at Lamore, and another three for Sacramento. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And Greg, it's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. And the wide open shot from Green. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got five assists tonight. And for Steph Curry, the light doesn't get any greener. I mean, the only limit is his conscience. I think he does a great job of scoring, but also looking to keep his teammates engaged. First, and, you know, when you think back when Curry came into the league, the question was, is, is he just a scorer or can he play point guard? Well, I think he's more than answered those concerns, and he's gotten a lot better with his decision-making as he's now starting to limit his turnovers. Good! Curry's got five points now this quarter. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Kings leading now by 18. In the corner, it's McLemore. Let's go. Again, Sacramento. Buckets coming in bunches right now. He is just being big time. Now a timeout called by Golden State. It was a trade that seemingly had been talked about for several years. Finally last season, Boston shipping out Rajon Rondo to the Dallas Mavericks, Clark, halfway through the season. Yeah, and it seemed to me to be a trade that actually helped both teams. Outside, green. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And for Rondo, in the trade, he was able to get out of a rebuilding situation in Boston. It immediately helped a playoff contender in Dallas that was looking for help at that point guard position. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Steve Kerr was saying to the team. He made sure that everyone was on the same page and that the offense needed to run through Stephen Curry. Coach would like to see him utilized in the offense as much as possible. We can expect to see them going to him constantly. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half. And Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. And thanks for that story, Doris. Here's Bellinelli. Here's Cousins. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And I tell you what, it was a rough go of things there early on for Rondo and Dallas. And, and you know, even for great players, it, it's always an adjustment when you go from a position of comfort to an completely new environment. And even though you, you're going to a better team, there's going to be some hemming and hawing in terms of your role and how you fit in. And finished off by Bogut. Rock hard finish there, guys. And only one hand needed for that one. Yeah, and sometimes that's all you need. Rondo dishes to Cousins. Dents the rim with a two-hand slam. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Warriors trailed by 21. Outside Curry. Bogut with a screen on front. And Curry, here we go. And Andrew Bogut, the bucket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got assist number seven for him tonight. For Sacramento, they've gotten every shot that drops since halftime. They're five for five from the floor. Rondo kicks to Gay. Back to Rondo. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Rondo's got five points now in the quarter. Golden State's gone, six of 12 from outside, a very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. It was a rough year last year for fans in Sacramento, but they still come out here to fill up the stands, Greg, even with their team struggling. Yeah, the, the new ownership give them credit. Last year, the Kings marked an eight-year high in terms of attendance. Mm. Not bad for a team that, that really looked to be in the hunt for the postseason, but then just fell apart midway through. Here's Gay. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Gay's got his third basket of the night. 
And that's sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? Outside Curry. Out to Thompson. Three-pointer. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his eighth assist in the game. The Kings ended at 18 and 23 here at home. Not a terrible record for them, given how their whole season went kind of up and down and inconsistent. They even had some home cooking in their favor as they were the second best team in free throw differential at home. Four on three break. Here's Thompson. The shot no good. Great D that time from Rondo. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Well, a big thing for the Kings to look forward to is the opening of their new arena. They are still looking at opening the downtown arena in the fall of 2016, and Sacramento couldn't be any more excited. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchup. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Sacramento. And then for Golden State, Azili's checked in for Bogut. Iguodala comes in for Green. And it's Barbosa in for Clay Thompson. And that one's good. 17 points here for Cousins. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. And Curry, here we go. And good on the basket. Book it. Curry's got nine points now in the quarter. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. And guys, you talk about ascendant stars in the NBA. None brighter than Steph Curry, the leading vote getter for the All-Star game a season ago. And, but he, what I love, he doesn't let it go to his head. I mean, he remains grounded and focused on winning. And here is Curry following the three from Willie Cauley-Stein. Curry passes to his healing. Nice D from Cousins. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Now, here's Cousins. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Rondo's shot is good. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And here is Barbosa. Rajon Rondo getting it to go from deep. Curry dishes to Azili. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. Rondo kicks to Gay. Here's Cousins. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Percento, they have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. Here's Barbosa. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And now the Kings fast break. Here's Gay. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end, steals, fast break buckets, and the other team scrambling to find its game. Great point. I mean, that aggression has allowed them to just create a lot of havoc. And boy, are they taking advantage. The three quarters of play all in the books. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Anderson is out there with Curry. Then there's Cauley Stein, and it's Koufis in at the center. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Here's Cauley Stein. 
somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Cauley Stein's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Kings. But tried by Igudawa. Second chance shot. Azili hits good and he drew contact on the shot. So we will go to the line. A three point play chance here. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Kings. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's, um, that's a mark of a good club. Curry passes to Cauley Stein. Let's it go from 14. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Yes, yeah, just a smart shot taking advantage of the mismatch. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, the mid-range J is almost a gimme. Livingston, no luck. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Kufis with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And in rush, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Here is Livingston. Pass to Rush. To the inside. Here's Spates. It's blocked. It's tipped. Stolen by Barbosa. Here is Livingston, defended by Butler. Rush dishes to Barbosa, knocked away, and stolen by Coley Stein. Now, here's Kufis, here's the pass to Curry. And lets it go from deep. Good on the shot. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Spates kicks to Rush. They get a hand on it. And up the court come the Kings on the break. And that one's good by Butler. And the big lead becomes bigger. They are playing with purpose here tonight, guys. And they're doing it at both ends of the floor. I mean, that's what you like to see. They've been controlling the action from both ends of the court. Here is Livingston, guarded by Kirk. And Willie Cauley-Stein gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Sacramento making a switch here. Caspi's checked in. Caspi! Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And stolen by Butler. Down low. Looking for Anderson. He gets it there. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow. And it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Golden State's gone 7 of 15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Now Rush. On its way from Barbosa for two. That one's off. Still out of sync. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's Kufus. Count the bucket. They just can't miss. Everything they put up, it seems, goes in. You know, sometimes you're the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield. They are certainly the bugs tonight. <laughs> Nothing going their way. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not even sure that I'd want to be the windshield. No. Uh, maybe the windshield wiper. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love that dish down low. Kings have gotten absolutely red hot shooting the ball here in the fourth. A perfect six for six. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Barbosa, he clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Kings have gone 7-of-7 seven seven from the field to start the final quarter. What an amazing start. The foul called on Festus Sazili. That'll be his second foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Carly Stein, he's checked in for the Kings. Then McLemore comes in for Karan Butler. Then for the Warriors, James Michael McAdoo comes in for Maurice Spates. And it's Iguodala in for Brandon Rush. And another triple to their second half total. They came out of the break just dropping bombs and just are not letting up at all. Here's Livingston, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Curry kicks to Cauley Stein. And he slams it one-handed. Sound offensively. Really no other way to put it here in the second half. There's no, really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they've both shot the ball since the break. Iguodala outside. Leandro Barbosa on the wing. And he drops it in from the low post. Barbosa's got four points in the quarter. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gout. Oh, oh. Good D, but better O. Oh, it's almost as if they're just standing there. Well said. Uh, well, for the most part, they were just uh, standing still, Clark. And you know what, Kevin? He's not the most explosive player on the court. But if you give him a clear lane to the basket, he'll punch it on you. That Kia Slam Cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. Curry gets the bucket. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking the basket. They have got to do better. That's his first personal foul. Here is Livingston. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and he finishes nicely on the layup. And they're on the kind of run that could have made a difference had it just started a little earlier. Yeah, but I think the only reason they're on this run is because the defense has relaxed a little bit, knowing the game is basically in the bag. Macklemore, the pass to Anderson. Through the D for the land. That one will seal the deal there. They've exploded here at the end. Boy, I love the serious killer instinct they've shown. Finishing strong. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. We've got 22 seconds left in the game. And the Warriors miss again. Right side, Butler. And there's the defensive three-second call. And no good on the technical, so unable to pick that one up. Come on, get open, get open, he's three! 
Curry dishes to Cauley Stein. Iguodala with the steal. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team part by far tonight. No question about it, Kevin. They certainly gave their fans plenty to scream and holler about. This place was rocking. It was on fire. And it only got louder as that lead got bigger. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris. Well, DeMarcus, congratulations on the win tonight. We know you're a very intense player, but tonight you certainly seem to be having a lot of fun out there. Um, that's, that's the thing. I'm just trying to come out here and have fun. I got a lot going for myself, and I'm too blessed to be out here <laughs> frowning all the time. So I'm going to try to keep a smile on myself. We love to see a smile, DeMarcus. Thanks for the time. Guys? The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, DeMarcus Cousins. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. The thing I like most about Cousins is the passion he plays the game with. Maybe he rubs some people the wrong way, but I don't want my big man smiling all the time. I want my big man to be mean. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.